Hey guys, as you may know, we recently opened a state-of-the-art 20,000 square foot factory in early 2022 exclusively for the production of the new City and City Pro. So today we're taking a look behind the scenes into our Apollo factory to see how our scooters are assembled. With customer success as our primary focus, we have established new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence, utilizing 88 pages of quality control documentation for the City 2022 alone. Each part and component is meticulously crafted and assembled and individually tested to ensure its quality and determine the component's lifespan. Some components are tested over 300,000 times to ensure they are safe for public usage. During the assembly process, the team has a standard operating procedure with detailed instructions on how to assemble the components according to our standards and do a visual QC check along the way. Watch as each scooter gets assembled on our fully automated line using dedicated rigs for each component, starting with the neck and frame. Each piece is precisely machined for that seamless design. The main body is then welded together with the neck before being sent onto the painting line. From there, the rear suspension is added on and torqued to a preset value before mounting the rear wheel and motor assembly. Every important screw on the scooter has a predetermined torque value as well as an assigned thread locker strength as needed. The rear lights are then assembled and all cables are threaded through the body of the scooter to later be connected to the controller and light box. The front suspension is then carefully assembled to the main body followed by the assembly of the stem and handlebar. Finally, the battery and controller are added to the main enclosure. The motors are connected with the rest of the electrical wiring and the bottom enclosures are sealed and carefully screwed down. The final finishing touches are completed, including a thorough cleaning of the scooter before a final visual and basic functional QC of every completed unit. This final quality control check consists of turning each scooter on, checking the lights and motors, verifying the brakes and tire pressure, the folding mechanism, and the Bluetooth compatibility. Then, the scooter is taken for a quick 10 meter ride to ensure it rolls smoothly and brakes properly. On top of the visual and operational quality control checks we do on every scooter, we also do a thorough testing process on a select handful of scooters produced to ensure the scooters are being built according to our standards. This process determines how long the scooter will last under constant stress and pinpoint any potential weaknesses. Testing conditions for these scooters also includes loading them up with up to 220 kilograms of weight and performing a bump test, as well as a machine that pushes forwards and back on the handlebars repeatedly to simulate long-term usage. We also put the battery through an aging test, going through hundreds of charge cycles to determine the battery's lifespan. But rest assured, these scooters that go through the random quality control checks are not sold to the public. Lastly, the boxes are subjected to a drop test where the boxes drop from a certain height with a scooter inside to ensure the box and packaging are strong enough. And as you can see, we have even redesigned our shipping boxes to ensure better protection and safer handling by our couriers. We're continuing to improve our manufacturing process for even greater quality control standards and we plan to slowly move production of all our scooters to this factory in order to better manage the quality control process. These standards are what sets us apart from our competitors and helps us deliver the kind of quality products that you expect from us. We hope you enjoyed this look behind the scenes of what goes on at the Apollo factory. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great content. Thanks again for watching guys, and as always, ride safe.